This video is titled Yin Fu Ba Gua and the Single Cylinder View of the Human Body. Yin Fu Ba Gua is a high level hand to hand combat system developed in China. The Chinese name for Chinese hand to hand combat systems is Kung Fu. It is extremely difficult to understand or explain what is going on in the body of a high level Kung Fu practitioner and to understand or explain the purpose of or the effect on the human body of the training movements of Yin Fu Ba Gua and other high level Kung Fu systems. The individual who has little or no knowledge about Kung Fu will find it literally impossible to comprehend what is going on in the body of a high level Kung Fu practitioner. Comprehension can be just as difficult for beginning and mid level practitioners of Kung Fu with perhaps years or decades of Kung Fu experience. One way to learn what is going on in the body of a high level Kung Fu practitioner is to become one. That learning method is difficult and time consuming. It will literally take 10 or 20 years for all of the training necessary to prepare for high level Kung Fu training and the time necessary for the high level Kung Fu training itself to change the practitioner's body in the way that Kung Fu changes a human body. The student must diligently practice all of that time in the proper way, which usually requires access to a high level Kung Fu practitioner willing to correct and instruct the student as they progress. Many people have no desire to invest years or decades of their lives in learning Kung Fu, but they do have an intellectual interest in what goes on in the body of a high level Kung Fu practitioner. Happy Theory can help the interested individual gain a basic understanding of what goes on in the body of a high level Kung Fu practitioner without having to actually become a high level Kung Fu practitioner. Happy Theory is a collection of information about the construction and behavior of the human body. Theoretical models of the human body have been created for Happy Theory that replace the complex human body with some less complex object to simplify the explanation of some aspect of the construction or behavior of the human body. The information and theoretical models of Happy Theory can be applied to the body of a high level Kung Fu practitioner to either explain what is going on within their body or to explain the purpose behind the movements of the Kung Fu system they practice. This video is going to present an example of using one of the theoretical models of the human body created for Happy Theory to explain one of the things going on in the body of a practitioner of the high level Chinese Kung Fu system called Yin Fu Ba Gua. The first step is to provide an example of a human body practicing Yin Fu Ba Gua so the viewer can see for themselves how complex the movements are and how difficult it is to figure out the purpose of the movements. Please watch the following short video clip of a man performing a Yin Fu Ba Gua training exercise. As the viewer has seen, the Yin Fu Ba Gua form consists of many different complex movements. While most viewers will be able to determine that some movements are attacking movements and some movements are defending movements, the majority of viewers are unlikely to have any idea why the man's body goes through all of the complex movements that it does, which culminate in some type of attack or defense. This is where the theoretical models from Happy Theory can be of help. This video will use a theoretical model called the single cylinder view of the human body to illustrate one of the purposes of performing the example Yin Fu Ba Gua form in the way it was performed. According to the single cylinder view of the human body, the human body behaves as if there is a large cylinder within it at approximately the location shown in this picture. According to Happy Theory, one purpose of the Yin Fu Ba Gua movements and one purpose of the movements of many other styles of Kung Fu is to develop and strengthen the single cylinder of the single cylinder view of the human body. How do the movements accomplish that? 
The main characteristic a cylinder is known for is its ability or propensity to rotate. According to Happy Theory, Yin Fu, Ba Gua, and other styles of Kung Fu develop and strengthen the single cylinder within the body of their practitioners by creating forms that force the body of the practitioner to rotate as it performs them. To prove that claim, a single cylinder will be superimposed on the example man's body, as shown in this picture. A pointer is aligned on the center of the cylinder and the center of the man's body to make the movements of the cylinder more obvious. The video clip of the man performing the Yin Fu Ba Gua form will now be shown again, but this time with the cylinder and pointer superimposed on his body and following the man's movements so the cylinder and pointer stay aligned on the center of the man's body. The cylinder and pointer will not exactly track all of the man's movements for reasons of clarity and simplicity. The viewer who understands this material may notice body movements that are not followed by the cylinder and pointer. That is done on purpose and not by omission. The video clip of the man practicing the Yin Fu Ba Gua form with the cylinder and pointer following his movements will now be shown. The video clip showed that as the man practiced the Yin Fu Ba Gua form, his body and the cylinder tracking its movements both constantly rotate back and forth. The video clip proves that one of the purposes of the Yin Fu Ba Gua form is to make the body rotate. The rotation of the man's body during the form also supports the claim by Happy Theory that the human body behaves as if there is a large cylinder within it and that the purpose of the movements of Yin Fu, Ba Gua, and other styles of Kung Fu that require rotation of the body is to develop and strengthen the single cylinder of the single cylinder view of the human body.